are watching college baseball here on the SEC Network. We welcome you to Oxford, Mississippi, where Ole Miss wraps up the home portion of its non-conference schedule today as the Rebels entertain the Golden Lions. Jordan Fowler gets start number six in his career. What do you expect out of the freshman here today? You know, Fowler, he's a young guy, but he's really got some great stuff. The fastball is going to sit in the upper 80s, lower 90s. Trying to complete the deal here in the top of the first. And there he does. Called strike three. And as Barza goes down. Kessinger is off with a pitch, and Dillard rips one off the glove of Mallison. Kessinger will head to third, and the Rebels have runners at the corners with nobody out. There goes Dillard, and Fortez sends one to deep left center field, and it's out of here. And Nick Fortez puts the Rebels on the board here in the bottom of the first with a three-run homer. Kessinger, the flip to Servidio, and that will take care of the Golden Lions. Two and one the count. Fly ball right field and forget it. That is a deep fly to ride and some more long ball by the Ole Miss Rebels. Servidio dials long distance and it's now 5-0 Ole Miss. is all over that scoreboard over the left center field wall. A rip to right by Zabowski. Kessinger will score standing up. Zabowski tries to take second on the throw and he's out. Right center field. That's going to be a gapper for Esparza. Parker will score standing up, and the Golden Lions are on the board. And Fowler strikes out Soriano to end the inning. The Rebels go into the bullpen for the first time today, and it's junior right-hander Connor Green out of Collierville, Tennessee. There goes the runner, and there's a base hit in the left center field. Esparza drives in his second run of the day as Parker scores. For teams like this to come and play at Swayze Field and other, other fields in the nation. Kreutzer with an RBI single to right field. That scores Mallison. And a whiff. Big strikeout by Connor Green. The Rebels needed that with two on and two out here in the sixth. Daniel DeHaan, the home plate umpire, comes out, asks the coach if he wants to make a decision, and Mike Bianco says, yes, I do. It's 6-3, Ole Miss. The new Rebel hurler is right-hander Austin Miller. A bouncer to third. Keenan has it. The throw, and that takes care of Mallison. There go the runners. The throw down, and it's a double steal for the Rebs. Kessinger. Looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> nice play by Lopez, but the throw is wide, and the Rebels are going to score two as Fortes takes second. Wolfel comes in, and he replaces Miller. So Wolfel, the junior out of South Haven, Mississippi, the fourth pitcher of the day. Line in the center, a base hit by Golson. And that will plate a pair. And Will Golson with his first hit of the day, and the Rebels now lead it 10-3. Holston really coming in into his own, making his 17th appearance of the year, an ERA of just over three and a half. 
And Holston strikes out Soriano. He strikes out this side, and the Ole Miss Rebels improved to 35-11 and 11 on the year with a 10-3 win today against Arkansas Pine Bluff.